Well, good afternoon. It's Friday, and it's Sound and Music here at Think Tech, and we're doing a special show. It's like a half-hour show. We meant to do it at 2 o'clock, but we, we couldn't get started, so we're doing it at 2.30, and I hope you're still there. Yes. And if you are, well, this will be interesting for you. Anyway, on this show is Corinne Ching, FTM, that stands for Full-Time Mom. That's right. Corinne used to be the uh, state representative for the, uh, what, uh, the Liha, the Liha area. That's right. Lilihanu Umanu, all the way up to the Ko'olau. Okay, and it's nice to times. have you in your civilian capacity. <laughs> I am. This is called full-time mom look. <laughs> this is a uniform of a full-time mom running off, um, ballet mom, and, and running around all doing things. the best things, things in life. You look very <laughs> thank relaxed. You. I mean, thank in a civilian you. way. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you. Um, yeah, and, and I'm very efficient in, in getting certain things done, And um, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's great. My second child, though, is, of course, as some people know, no, Lili, huh? Was, you know, they used to say that about Frank Fossey, right? His second child was the city of Honolulu. <laughs> That's a bit of a stretch. Maybe you don't actually want to make that kind of yes, comparison. Connection, yes. Okay. Well, then, and we got next next to you. We have this very pretty lady. Yes. Uh, whose name is Willow Chang. Hello. Right? Yes. Yeah. It was an <laughs> opera, wasn't it? Mikado uh, Willow. Tish Willow? Tish Willow? Yes, it is. And there's Willow Weep for Me, all kinds of great songs. <laughs> and uh, you, you're involved because you're a, you're a bon vivant. I'm a bon vivant and I, I love Liliha as well. And Corinne is a very dear friend, but I think that she always has a vision that is straight like an arrow, very direct with its target, something that benefits the people of Hawaii. And you're the, the MC, and uh, you're, you're involved heavily, in, you're both involved heavily in this Liliha program, which is happening this Sunday, yes. uh, which I calculate to be August 25th, actually. You've got it. Yeah, exactly. So who wants to you know, do the exposition and describe the program in Liliha on Sunday? Well, maybe maybe I could start, Jay. Okay. And, um, because you know we started this. But you're going to pass the baton to Willow. You know I am. Like Olympics. You got it. Yes, <laughs> it's the tenth annual, and um, we're very grateful. We're sponsored by St. Francis Healthcare System of Hawaii, that came forth to make this possible. Um, as you know, may know, I, I used to do this uh, when I was a legislator. I remember this was a big initiative. It, it was, and it's all about revitalizing Liliha and preserving those valleys that make Hawaii great. And so it is this coming Sunday, which is ironically a date associated with the chiefest who was the chiefest for this entire island as well as the person who, who um, you know uh, donated the land Punahou sits on we both are Punahou graduates I think that we find that um, kind of interesting it tends to bring people together yeah. it does I, perhaps, I think it does and we're so grateful because we're starting off with the Royal Hawaiian Band courtesy of the city and county so what is it, Danny is it, is it a festival program what it is program? it's a yeah. it's a yearly gathering of those that not only live in Liliha but those residents or visitors who love Liliha and what it stands for. And so you celebrate. You have a, you have a program that lasts, what, the whole day? Oh, 10 to 4. It's 10, 10 a.m. So to 4. So you get four. there at 10 o'clock. Absolutely. With food vendors. Now and where in Liliha um, is this? Right in front of Liliha Bakery. And so we close down the street. <laughs> and then not hard to find. That's perfect. We actually close down the street from um, Liliha Street on uh, west or Eva on Kuakini to the fire station. And we have a lot of um, really, um, thanks to John Johnny Kai of Brown Bags to start, and we have a number of uh, wonderful young uh, entertainment that, that will be there. But it's really about more than a festival. It's about um, preserving those values that make us great. And it's about um, rejoicing in what some would refer to as old Hawaii. And that is really what we see in this. And we see repositioning Liliha as actually a visitor destination, a good thing for the local residents as well as the state. Okay, of but back to the agenda, though. Very good. <laughs> What, what are you going to do for me when I come? Very good. It starts with, like I said, the uh, incomparable Danny Kalei Kini and the Royal Hawaiian Band. We have um, multi-ethnic uh, entertainment. You have um, uh, the lion dance um, um, from the district, uh, Kung Su Lum Pai. And then we'll have uh, different ethnic groups uh, perform, but also uh, Miss Hawaii Teen USA will be there and um, other uh, people. There's also going to be a lot of cakey activities. We want to bring your children. We have Hana food games so and created by yeah, the face the street. Yes, yeah. right in the street and in the parking lots. Well, I hope you're closing the street. We do. Yes, okay. we're grateful to DTS, uh, Department of Transportation Services, that allows us to do this every year. So, how much and of the street is closed? How big um, is this? About, I'd say one 
block, one small block, and, and then it expands over into the parking lot. So we're great, grateful to Finance Factors for opening up their parking lot and Long's Drugs opening oh, up yeah. their own parking oh, lot. Yeah, yeah. And um, so we extend down, there's a rock wall. I mean, just lots to do for the children to learn. They're gonna learn about the history. It's This year is so special, the 10th annual. It starts with a history walk at 9 a.m. Let's, to go let's talk the about the history. Yeah. But uh, uh, which one of you is the history buff? Is it you, Corinne, or is it you, Willow? Um, We're in different ways, yeah. yeah. In different ways. Okay, well, Corinne's putting the blood, sweat, and tears. Why don't you hear some of your <laughs> yeah. history first, then come back to Korea? Yeah. You know, so for the, me... What's the history of Liliha that turns you on? For me, it's a personal history. So, as Corinne mentioned, I'm local born and raised, and <clears throat> my parents made me go to Chinese school for six years. <laughs> I went to Munlen School right down the street, um, and after Chinese school, as a treat, my father would drive us in his old Rambler to Chen Poon and we would have ice cakes. But then we also went to the Liha Bakery. It's the site of where my parents had their first date. Um, I go to the craft store, Creations by You. Now my father's passed on. I go right near Jane's Fountain and I buy flowers and oranges and I take it up to the cemetery to him. And it's just a place, as Corinne said, that it has that feeling of old Hawaii. Whether you're looking through old cemeteries, going into little hole in the wall mom and pop stores, supporting the local business, seeing the green parrot fly overhead, you get that sense of what Hawaii was like when it was a little slower, a little quieter, and maybe even a little gentler. And I like that. I find that these little pockets of old Hawaii are really rapidly disappearing. Um, there is a love and a reverence for everything that's new, but I think that you need to have both for balance. And if we eliminate everything that's old, we lose something that's both an emotional and cultural mm -hmm. history. So it's more of a feeling. I don't even know if you can necessarily describe it, but once you hit Liliha, it's a it's a, a unique feeling that is not matched by any other place on the island. So I would I would love for it to thrive and to grow and to not get paved over and changed um, and become gentrified or become a super block. I think it's wonderful the is way. Is there it an is. issue? Is that a, is that a threat? I think everything is here in Hawaii. It is. No, it is. Um, the row and yeah, put a seven hundred foot tower there. Where yeah, 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 yeah. They <laughs> would, I'm sure, like that. Some people would love that. And so, but you know, yeah, what I yeah. get is it's a kind of a crossroads. The way it's mm -hmm. working is it's a crossroads. It's right there at Lilia and what is it, Kuakini? Yeah. Yes, yes. And and so there's stuff on each one of the corners there. Uh, the, no, yeah, it just actually launch, it starts well, just my, from my favorite orma, I know. automobile repair guys are right there. Oh, yeah. well, yes, uh, and they'll be on the guys, history yeah. walk. At Brian yeah. and Alan Lum, they're just written up, in fact, in the history <laughs> walk. And they are big supporters of Lili Ha. But um, because uh, we don't want to block Lili Ha and the bus route, it starts just at the edge of finance factors and longs. But, you know, Willow said it's just so perfectly. And I'll just add a little bit more to that. I think what attracts me to Lili Ha, too, and what we've been saying about the walk, too, is that Lilia is the one story that is everyone's story. So you would be hard pressed, I think, to find a place that within one to two square miles has everyone's heritage and history in there from the native Hawaiian royalty to you go right down chronologically, you know, the missionaries, it was Missionary Road, Judd Street, um, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Filipino, you just go on. And to this day, still receiving Samoan and Micronesian. So it's ongoing. Then every religion, I mean, the fact is, is that every single denomination is, is there. Um, Liliha herself was not Catholic, but her husband was. And hence you have sort of this interesting Catholic uh, presence there probably because of uh, Boki, her husband. But you have the um, only Jewish synagogue right up the street. You have the Shingon Temple, which is over a hundred years old. You know, we are the land of four bone dances, bone dances, you know. So you've got Chinese, you've got you the Korean Christian church. So, Hare you know, Krishnas. yeah, Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Willow. Don't forget Best that, yeah. vegetarian. Yeah, right there on Coelho. So, where can you tell this story? And isn't this the essence of Hawaii? I think so, where we look at like a plate lunch and say, I like that, I like that. And you know what? Through many, maybe there is one, one local culture that is made of many. Well, you know, uh, you know a, a couple of thoughts. Uh, <clears throat> just, and the actual commercial center is pretty small, although yes. there's some there's some stuff on uh, Liliha Street right. all the way down. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's old. Old, you know. But mm -hmm. what about what about creating a, a new neighborhood? Like you know, like for example, in Kaimuki, there are people who want to make biking easy. Oh yeah. Uh, people mm -hmm. in Kaimuki want to establish new shops, uh, upscale restaurants, and I don't know all, all those very neighborhood-like kinds of things. 
Are you guys doing that? I mean, aside from the festival, are you doing that? The melange, too? you know, as the French say. Yeah. We we thrive, right? I think well, we're Are you making that. new businesses there? We, we, there are many new businesses coming in all the time because we can't save all the old ones. And the truth is, it is that blend. And we want trees. We want bicycles. We want our people to be healthy. We think we can have it all, actually. Be healthy, plus some historic sites. We'd love to restore that old Jane's Fountain neon sign like they have in Wailai Avenue. <laughs> so, I mean, it is about being young and that's why we brought in cafe tables that's why we're encouraging cafes we want the young people there absolutely but you know what we think we think young people are interested in old things and I think it's been proven this history walk that we thought would have maybe just a few it's been an overwhelming um, you know success and the truth is is that places that do preserve their history tend to do better economically we've proven that well but this you know I mean everybody talks about from Cheryl soon never heard Yes. Her Department of Transportation Services yes. back yes. back in the 90s. Um, she spoke of neighborhoods. She's some of the healthiest thing that can happen in Hawaii is neighborhoods. Yeah, you guys are yeah. building neighborhoods. And yeah. Lalita is a great example of that. So uh, the idea of a planned community has its own charms, but you can't compete, per se, with a neighborhood that has a balance of the two. That's, I mean, you walk one block away from the Liha and you're right into someone's neighborhood and it's homes. And that's what it is, is it, it, it cradles that, it nurtures that energy. It's a different kind of energy when you're situated, when there's a mix of retail and residential. So it's old school. You know, when kids read something like Harry Potter and they travel to Europe and they see castles, it, it stokes their fires and they're excited about it because it seems like fantasy. But for people who live in environments like that, that's day-to-day -day history. They see the Acropolis every day or, or what have you. Hawaii is a fairly young place in terms of what we have that was built and what lingers. And that's a real motivation, I think, to hang on to things. I wouldn't say that every cinder block building I have nostalgia for. <laughs> but you have to, we're talking <laughs> about places that hold energy and that have been gathering places. When you talk about James Fountain, mm -hmm. my uncle Timmy, who wrote a letter every day to the editor, he went to Jane's every Fountain day every that. day. That's How wonderful. Tim Chang. He was a, a real <laughs> citizen for Hawaii. And he loved going to Jane's Fountain. You need to have these places where people congregate. That's like our version of Cheers. Cheers isn't about the alcohol. Cheers is about the people going to of a course. place. Yeah. And it's the essence. And I think Liliha really embodies that. If you sit and wait in line to get one of those vinyl stools to sit on at Liliha Bakery, you know, you can have pancakes anywhere. You could go to Denny's or IHOP, but it's Bakery. not the same. <laughs> Liliha Bakery, and they decorate every season. I love going there at Halloween because yes. they have all their Halloween decorations yes. yeah. and the cookies and the cupcakes change. And yeah. we don't have a lot of those experiences left in Hawaii. Yeah, but really Liha has that. It makes you feel a connection to your past. Yeah, that's important. You guys yeah. both are connected to the neighborhood that you were what, born and raised in, am I right? Um, well, I was, my grandparents, this is like a coming home for me because my grandparents were instrumental here, but I actually, when they built the freeway, my grandparents then bought in um, East Honolulu and I was raised more on the East Honolulu side, but we, I came back, my, my husband bought property there and so, you know, in, I started looking Lili around Ha. in Limiha, Limiha mm -hmm. Limi Nuwana, and um, that's when I started to open up my eyes and, you know, here we, I am, you know, five generations from Hawaii, and who, I, I'll be frank, I didn't know Lily Ho was a person. I knew she was a, it was a Hawaiian uh, name or word, but I didn't know she was a person. And so the more you discover, it's like a neat friend, that the more you get to know them, the more you're just astounded at all the um, special qualities they have. And I think those are the best friends, and Lily Ho's like that. Now come look at her, and every day she will surprise you. She will surprise you with what she's got going for, that she seems so low-key, especially the people, to be the most low-key people. They're not necessarily shiny and out there, right, and uh, tooting their horns, but you'll find out later that, oh, I didn't know that he was da 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 da, -da. You know, it's, And that's so Hawaii in some ways. Yeah, is it, is it a walking neighborhood, Liliha? Very much, and it's becoming more thanks with the help of Kuakini Medical Center and Ramona Malehi has been helping us with this, um, bringing back what actually I, um, Quentin Kawana Nakoa, the former representative that I worked for, we had done maybe 20 years ago. So it's kind of fun to see this come back even stronger, and, and they're going to be encouraging their employees to do this on a regular basis. Do what? This, this, this uh, the walk. The walk starts well, let's at talk nine. About the walk. Yeah. Uh -huh. but you haven't really described yeah, that. So right what here. is it now, the walk? It, it's um, a it's just associated uh, history walk. With the it August is. 25th yeah, program? sure. It's on the same day for a reason because it's the okay. 10th annual. So and what would I do? Well, this hospital. begins at 9 a.m. Right. You said the, the street festival begins at 10, 10 so, so I should get 
the not. right. You're Ooh, absolutely I right. Hope you all heard that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's really fun because um, thanks to the good community spirit of um, you know Kuakini Medical Center, they decide to have it on the same day. They're celebrating their own anniversary of their hospital that is over a hundred years old, very historic on its own right. And then the nice thing is St. Francis Hospital that is historic in its own right is doing the festival. So wouldn't you know? It's the two health institutions that want to care and be compassionate. So they start with a walk, and you'll find you'll go past these places like Jane's Fountain, see the old cash register, the jukebox, and I think that's kind of where we're thinking. Get that inspiration is that jukebox 1950s era when a lot of these businesses cropped up, you know. And so um, I, I want to yeah, talk about that. that. I want to talk mm -hmm. about how you know the sustainability of that going forward for not your generation, but your kids'. Yes. Kids, kids generation. Yeah. But first, we're going to take a short break. Sure. We're going to take a short break. We're here with uh, with Corinne Ching, uh, an FTM full time <laughs> mom. It used to be a state representative from That's Malia, right. and Willow Chang, a bon vivant. He's actually going to be involved in the Lilia program this Sunday, August 25th. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> Hawaiian Electric Company and its affiliates Maui Electric on Maui and Hawaii Electric Light Company on Hawaii Island are deeply committed to the communities they serve. Galen Ho is a senior executive of BAE Systems, a global defense, security, and aerospace company. The High Tech Development Corporation, the state's leading technology agency, attached to the Department of Business, Economic Development, and Tourism. Castle in Cook, Hawaii, with a time-honored legacy that spans more than 160 years and revolves around its mission of investing in Hawaii, creating communities, and providing for the needs of our state. Hawaii Gas, formerly the gas company, a proponent of the liquefied natural gas initiative, helping Hawaii achieve its transition to clean energy and a better energy future. Collateral Analytics, a Hawaii-based tech company empowering the real estate industry with greater and faster access to the tools and data they need make better informed property investment decisions. I'm Nicole Horry. Thanks so much for joining us on ThinkTech. I'm Maria Kashem. See you next time. Okay, we're back. We're live. We're at ThinkTech here on a Friday doing sound and music with Corinne Ching and Willow Chang. <laughs> and they're the Ching Chang combination. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> what was that Andy Bumatai re re you know, remark he always made about the Chinese? He had yeah. remarks for everybody. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he said, <laughs> you know, like Ching, Chang, Chan, <laughs> it sounds like coins. Like, or pots. A pocket yeah. full yeah. of change. Is yes. what it's <laughs> right. Preferably euros. <laughs> yes. Ooh, well, there you go. So yeah, you guys, so you are you. like sisters. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's, it, you're having, obviously having fun on this, but as you yes. said, Corinne, this is more. Um, than just the neighborhood festival because mm -hmm. that, that's, that's only skin deep. What you know, what's underneath here is a is a social a statement mm -hmm. of some import actually, and yes. uh, there aren't many neighborhoods like Lilia. One of them, by the way, is New Hanu right across the street. Thank way, you. Well, the right Valley, across the yeah. Pali Highway right. where I live. Absolutely. Now, we don't we don't have a, a commercial center. Right. We wish we had a commercial. Center. <laughs> Everybody on the street knows each other. Yeah. Everybody walks together. They say hi. Yes. And they would, everyone would like the neighborhood to last forever. But you know what? It may not. <clears throat> and Lilia may, Lilia may not either. So what can you do, you know, to make sure the next generation feels the same way as you do? Because they may not live. You know, you guys are living in Lilia right now. Right. Uh, and that's why you're so, that's one of the reasons you're so passionate. But yeah. um, what about your kids who, who say, I've got to go. Thank you for putting on and I've got to go to, to Stanford and Yale. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I'm yes. going to get a big job in lower Manhattan and I'll see you later. Yeah. Uh, uh, how do you make them understand? I would about say that I'm not. I'm not sure if stewardship necessarily requires living in the place itself. Mm, and I say that because having lived in various neighborhoods throughout my life here in Hawaii and, and other places, you can feel and develop and foster a kinship and an affinity and a love and aloha for that place. So there's ways that you can be involved, even if your zip code is not from that place, with the exception of politics, of course. You've got to represent your hood. Um, but, we have an expert right here at the yeah. table. Yeah. I would say getting to know your neighborhood. This festival is a great way for people to get hands-on experience of walking, physically walking and meeting people. I mean, what's that saying? Who are the people in your neighborhood? Sure. You've got to know who's in your neighborhood. 
Mr. Rogers. Yeah, or something. and you have to know who your neighbors are, and you want to support those local businesses. You can get get involved on a civic level, whether it's your Lions Club or even something as simple as taking care of your house. This is not to proselytize and scold people, but when you take care of your yard and you take care of things like graffiti and you invest emotionally into your neighborhood, it reflects, it creates a chain reaction, and you pass on something that's positive that endures for many people, whether they're driving through your neighborhood or walking through it or living in it. Yeah, and you guys are talking about mm -hmm. structures, businesses even, mm -hmm. people, uh, stories, mm -hmm. history stories um, that are that are visible. I mean, they're, they're yes. almost tangible. People yes. living in the neighborhood know this, and you know this. But I'm wondering about, you know, the, the sort of the, the, the rebuilding of some neighborhoods yes. uh, where, you know, it's, it's demolished. Everybody go, the like Kakako is a yeah. good example. Everybody went away. Uh, you can find, only rarely, but you can find somebody who lived in Kakako, whose parents lived in Kakako many years ago. Yes. But there's no tangible no. connection. No. And then, you know, you get these skyscrapers, right. yeah. uh, people who, I mean, who, who, who come from other faraway yeah. places. They have no neighborhood. It's all speculative. Well, Nothing. they got rid of Hamadas because they used to live in Kakako, so it really changed the neighborhood. What was Hamadas? Hamadas was kind of like Kimoda's Market and Upcountry in Makawal, these old school mom and pop places, kind of like Harry's Music, you know. Yeah. Well, it, music it, 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 yeah, you know, like you go in there, and what it is is it's like a time capsule. It's like pre pre <laughs> statehood Hawaii. It is. And pre the thing is, is that people in today's um, in today's realm, they always define things in terms of ethnic groups or, or identity politics. But you know what? Pre territory Hawaii, from my understanding, because my father was was older. I'm, I'm the product of a cross generational marriage and, and what have you. Everyone worked together as an ohana. I don't think that that is um, an exaggeration. Yeah. People worked towards a common goal, the idea is that we were all in this together. Yes. It wasn't about segregating yes. things. It was about yes. what is it to live in Hawaii? How do we Help work together? Mm -hmm. And the unique history of what has created Hawaii is certainly yeah. part of that. Plus, paired with the ideas of respecting your kapuna or Confucianist mm -hmm. backgrounds. Yeah. yeah, you know, so there's that collective thing. It doesn't mean that young people are of no importance. The ohana is about the whole family. It's uh, about yeah. uh, 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 getting yeah. those jewels from, from the elders. So are you going to convey yeah. these ideas to the people at the festival in some way? You know, we think we will because, for, to start off with Dan and Clay Keeney, of course, you know, but it is what Willis um, saying I'm going to add on to is it's that kindness that you'll catch in certain. Um, uh, maybe World War II generation, they're gentle, they say hello, they think nothing, and it's not that anonymous that you're speaking of in the Kaka'ako. I think anonymity in a community is actually the enemy. That's the enemy of good communities, because if you look at successful communities, they do know each other. And actually, if you think about it, that's the whole philosophy behind a neighborhood security watch. It's not that I'm walking around. It's that I know each other. I, I see, I have eyes, you and I are looking, and we care. So that's really the essence. And right, it's a beginning, it's a start, this festival, as, but as you said, it is part of a bigger social statement. I really like that. Thank you, Jay. Is that we are saying here, as Kiki Oka Aina, that you can do this. It's positive. This can happen. It's just being aware. You know, in the first step of anything, it's being aware. Did you know Lily has so fine? I mean, we have a National Geographic photographer, you know, who, um, Paul Chessie, who's coming out with a book soon in October. And he took it upon himself as a world traveling, award winning National Geographic photographer and saw the beauty of Hawaii, I, I mean, saw the beauty specifically of Liliha of Hawaii as well, but, and, and captured it in pictures and helped us to show residents, these are precious places, they're beautiful, and you're beautiful and your heritage is beautiful, so let's take care. Let's really know that these are charm, and charm has a place in our society, especially if you want to be a tourist destination. Charm isn't something that is that is just um, superfluous. It's something that comes from the heart, and it's what you want to do, and it's healthy for a visitor and resident alike. Our so recent born dance. Um, yeah, it was there. Soto Mission, 100 years. Yeah. That's and, a number one year. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Soto, Soto Mission. 
Station, yeah, oh, Fort yeah. Bone Dance is in New Uwana. And we want to be the commercial district for New Uwana Valley. So that's how we see ourselves as well, you, part you of a big for you, uh, you guys. I mean, I, I know you, you know this. And I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Yeah. Yes. But, you know, the natural trend would be that the neighborhood, you know, dissolves into progress, quote progress. Quote progress, yeah. Quote progress. Yeah, and, call it know, progress. And before you know it, it's, you know, it's in, it, it, nobody can remember right. what happened there. And, right. and that, that's ultimately, you know, the risk. But you guys, uh, you know, you, you got your finger on something really important, and Thank I hope you, you can, you know, at least on Sunday, make everybody understand and remember. And maybe going forward, more people will have these thoughts that have been less. Uh, and then maybe it'll catch on other neighborhoods. So, oh, you know, yes, what you're sir. describing is the true value of Hawaii, and we're yes. all losing that now. Yes. You, you, I'm sure you will agree. It's kind of like if yeah. your neighbor says, hey, you know what's some lychee? Or I got mango. They give you a bag of fruit in a paper bag. I mean, that's, that's the kind of neighborhood. That's old Hawaii. You never asked. You didn't anticipate. You didn't expect. It was just the generosity afforded to one another. Yes. And you go trick or treating, and you know your neighbors. And if the mailman gives the mail to the wrong person, they come over and they hand it to you. They don't just throw it under your door. I mean, those seem like small things, but it's the the actions of small kindness that build community. Yes. And I think Laliho represents that. And maybe this small community can we help have that in the water way. too, but we don't yeah. have a festival like you guys. <laughs> we <laughs> so are your festival. Yeah. Well, maybe We're we should festival. come to your festival. You should. So if I want to come now, exactly yes. what do I do? Where do I park? Oh, very good. Thank you what's, so much. What's the, what's the, you know, what's the yeah. procedure here? Okay, there's um, Lana Kila Elementary School has reserved parking for us. So, Lana Kila Elementary School, um, up and down Liliha, you have Korean Christian Church, you have after. Uh, 12 it's a uh, open Good Shepherd Lutheran all the churches in the in the neighborhood Visayan area you'll see parking signs there'll be parking signs up and around the area so um, again we're grateful to all the participants who really make this possible it's the civic spirit I gotta yeah. also let people know that Tenryo Mission is having their bazaar, and I go every year right up the yes. street. So the parking will—they have a parking That's at right. Kwan and Nicole, but there's going to be a whole hub of activity. In but don't area. be discouraged. It's a great chance to carpool or take public transportation, yes. or you know, or park somewhere and go on foot. Absolutely. You know? How long should I be prepared to, to, to spend there? Oh, at least a couple hours. Enjoy. You may want to just you know meander and look at the different booths and um, listen to the really incredible entertainment that Johnny Kai of Brown Bags to Stardom, who is helping to take care of this for uh, me with Willow Chang, helping take care of it. There's also um, a presentation, the, some civic awards oh, yes. that will be given and presented. Yeah, oh, the Spirit nice. of Liliha Awards. Very Thank nice. you for yeah. reminding me. Um, it's wonderful. At 12 noon, and that's when our elected officials come up to the stage, and we... Um, give a, an award called the Spirit of Lady Home Award, which is about compassionate and civic spirit. And we have a category for an individual, a, ca a category for an organization or business, and then someone who has passed on. And so our award honorees this year are going to be Reverend Aaron Sang for all the work he's been doing with the housing project on Blockway. And then um, uh, Pu Nui Nike Jin Kai, who has been putting on the 4th of July and the Shining Kai every year for 40 years, still going going along. And then um, um, Mr. Henry Chu, who was very instrumental at United Church of mm -hmm. Christ. It's great. They so, get a little recognition. They must yeah. love that. Yeah. yeah. So who are the elected officials now that you're not an elected official in your favorite neighborhood? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, it's, it's fine. Carol you know? Fukunaga? Yes, she's, she's a wonderful city council. council. Yeah. She's okay. going to be there in the booth uh, for um, Complete Street. So we thank Carol okay. for her volunteerism. Okay. Uh, Scott Councilwoman Fukunaga. And then we have um, Representative Takashi Ono is the okay. representative that took my place, okay. and he'll be there to give the award to Pu Nui Nike, okay. uh, Jin Kai. And then we have um, Senator Susie Chan Oakland, Leliha Teikioka Aina, many she, generations. She's, she's sure. really all hard about this. She sure she? is. She'll be in the volunteer booth yeah. and helping with the water. Yeah. So it's a, again, it's a all about the community, and we're grateful, you know, for them coming and um, sharing their time with us. Well, I'm grateful for you guys coming down. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's been great to talk uh, to you and find here. out about about what motivates you all this. And um, may I say, Corinne, that you haven't changed a bit <laughs> since the time you were in office. <laughs> oh, you're so kind. There still shows. <laughs> oh, well, I'm still passionate about Hawaii, so other ways to, to serve and contribute, And um, but my, my daughter is a, a priority. Okay, well, maybe she can run for office. You know. <laughs>
<laughs> Actually, she is. She is running for student representative okay. at her school. <laughs> I didn't encourage her on that, but she decided to. So it don't fall far from And you too, Willow, well, well, you could run for office, you know? Oh, you absolutely. never know. Uh, you never know. Very much are, it's really great to see neighborhood, and you guys are a good example of that in the modern you. sense. Well, thank you very much for coming thank on. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Jen. Yeah, mm -hmm. Willow very Chang, much. Grin Ching, the yes. Ching Chang. Ching Chang. Ching Chang. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> this is the deck sound and sound and fury. Sound yes. and music. Yes. You yeah. Yeah. Right that, yes. Uh, on Friday. Aloha, everyone. Say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Bye. <laughs> ciao. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>